In this part, we'll look at furnace fuel system problems. Fuel problems can arise when the flow of process fluid is significantly reduced and it's necessary to operate the furnace at a lower firing rate. At a reduced firing rate, it may be hard to supply enough fuel to the header to keep all the burners going. To avoid this, the operators may close off some of the burners and their registers so that no fuel is sent to them. When you shut off fuel to some of the burners, the fuel flow to the operating burners will be increased, reducing the risk of flameouts. Firing with fewer burners is a way of maintaining fuel pressure while satisfying the reduced demand. A problem that may occur in gas systems is freeze-ups in the fuel lines. In cold weather, condensation in the fuel can freeze and create problems for the operator. A knockout drum can remove most of the condensation, but a small amount may remain in the fuel that's sent to the furnace. In cold weather, even a small amount can cause a freeze-up. If you do have freeze-ups, you may find them in low points in the fuel system, where moisture can collect and freeze. If this happens, the fuel header pressure may decrease since the ice restricts flow in the fuel lines. Because of the reduced flow, eventually the process fluid outlet temperature will also decrease. In response, the fuel control valve opens up, trying to send more fuel to the burners. Some plants handle freeze-ups by injecting steam into the fuel lines while the furnace remains in operation. The steam thaws the ice. Abnormal conditions in a furnace include problems with the process fluid system. The tubes that carry the process fluid are a potential source of trouble. A common example of a tube problem is a hot spot. Hot spots are overheated areas of a tube. They may be caused by flame impingement or by insufficient process fluid flow. If there's impingement, the fix may be as simple as adjusting airflow to the burner to shorten the flame. If reduced process fluid flow causes a hot spot, increasing the flow rate through the affected tube often works. If there's more fluid moving through the tube, it will carry away more heat. Another way to handle a hot spot is to reduce the firing at that area in the furnace. If the burner closest to the hot spot is turned off, you'll direct less heat toward the problem tube. A hot spot may lead to coking, the buildup of carbon deposits inside the tubes. Coking can restrict fluid flow and cause heat transfer problems. Coking may be detected in multi-pass furnaces by comparing the flow rates through the passes. The flow rate will often be lower than normal through, through the restricted pass. The flow rate may have to be increased through that pass to equalize the flows through the furnace. Adjusting flow rates and firing rates are short-term solutions. They'll let you keep the furnace going temporarily until the problem can be fixed. But if there is a lot of coke built up in a tube, it should be removed. Many furnaces have decoking systems to remove the buildup from the tubes. This system injects steam and air through the tubes to remove the coke deposits and carry them out of the tubes. Another tube problem is a tube leak. When a tube ruptures, any flammable process fluid that escapes is likely to catch fire in the furnace. A high stack temperature is one sign of burning process fluid. Smoke coming from the stack is another. When there's a tube leak, you may also see smoke coming from the tube access doors. But if you do, don't open the door. The sudden rush of air could cause a flash fire. When there's a fire from a tube leak, the course of action will depend on the severity of the leak. If the leak is small, you may be able to keep the furnace going for a while. Also, in some cases, the leak will seal itself as coke forms around the hole in the tube. In many plants, the furnace is shut down and the fire is smothered with steam. With any fire, the operators will have to keep a close watch on furnace conditions and follow their unit's safe operating procedures. In this topic, we looked at several abnormal operating conditions in a furnace, including airflow problems, fuel system problems, and process fluid problems. To see how well you understand this material, let's stop so you can try a few practice questions.